Hi friends, this is Carol and Bailey. Hi. And today we are going to be um, setting up a dye bath for this 100% um, wool. Um, we're gonna set up a dye path, dye path, I dye can. pot using um, this little tester size that I ordered from solarcolordust.com. It is, it's their fabric dye, but I have been told by multiple people in my yarn groups that you can dye yarn and roving. So we're going to try it. Um, just to start out, I have soaked this yarn in super hot, uh, just tap water, uh, for about 30 minutes. And I put in one teaspoon of the alum powder. I did that because when you soak the wool first, before you start to dye it, it opens up the fibers and adding the alum powder, uh, even just a little bit, allows those fibers to really be able to grab onto whatever color you're introducing, whether that is professional dye, uh, Kool-Aid, like anything, anything in that range. <laughs> um, soaking it for 30 minutes in hot water and then tablespoon, teaspoon of alum powder, okay? So I have drained it. Um, I did not wring it dry because our dye is going to be used with hot water. So I just poured out what I could and left the rest. All right, so Bailey is going to be the one doing this today and she is super excited. She's also super excited because hey, this Carol. will probably, cause this is our tester, this will probably be knit into something for her. So yes, she is going pink to blue. All right, Miss Bailey. Um, the first thing we need to do we have already, like, we have shook this up, but go ahead and give it another good shake. Unscrew the top lid and squeeze it all into here. All? Mm-hmm, all. Okay. That is per the instructions. So this is a little tester size before you commit to like the much bigger size. Is this hot water? Yes. Um, the bottle says to mix it with one and a half cups of hot water. I think I got it. Okay, let's see. Let's just make sure. Yeah. Here, will you go take that, put it underneath the sink. No, 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 no. Put it under, like turn on the water, put it underneath the sink to fill it and then come back. So, hot water? Yes, please. The suspense. Okay, that's good. Now screw that lid back on. So what I told her to do was to fill up the little bottle with hot water. She's gonna screw the lid on and then you're gonna shake it again. You're just what? gonna shake, 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 shake. That way, like hopefully you're getting all of the dye, okay? Now, for that one. Oh, look, it's bubbly. Awesome. Unscrew it and pour it straight onto the yarn. I like bubbles. Ooh, <laughs> this looks like Pepto-Bismol. Hi, Daddy. <laughs> look, and that's clear. It oh, is. Oh, I just saw it on the all right, so now, Bailey, I want you to take this spoon. Nope. And I want you to gently stir the dye and hot water mixture. That's a cup and a half. Maybe a little bit more to be a little generous, but um, she's just mixing that up. Wait, Mama. What? There's a, like a little chunk of... Oh, it might be the lid. Um, oh. Boop, that was the top. I'll just, I'll get rid of that. Later. It's the top. Yes. You, you can be a little more uh, 
Yeah, there you go. Yes. It looks so satisfying. Okay, now um, put that spoon down for just a second. Open the alum powder up. Okay, oh. take that spoon. Does it smell? It doesn't smell. Oh. Oh, it smells okay. like. Okay, well. Or baking soda. Take, it, it's it, it, similar. Take the spoon in there and get out a big scoop. Oh, crunchy. And then it has crystals in it. Oh, Go ahead it and put it in the dye. Okay, that's all we need for the powder. Go ahead and stir. Um, I just went ahead and had her use the spoon. Oh, look at that now. Oh. Look at that. Yeah. I had her use um, the same spoon um, to go into the Allen Wait, powder. Show them that, show them that. Ooh, so exciting. It's like fizzy. Um, because this Allen powder that we have, it is not going to be used for canning, which is what it's primarily used for. Um, it is only for yarn, so I'm not concerned about cross contamination with dyes, things like that. All right, so. Ooh, can I show you something? Uh, okay. Oh my goodness. Okay. Now, well, lay, lay that spoon on the big, big spoon so it doesn't dye the table. <laughs> there you go. Gently pour this right over oh, the yarn. Making sure like it's so hot it all gets in there. Okay. Some parts are still white. Can I like Yes. My super noisy chamber. But, okay, so you need to make sure that um, that's the better way to do it, yes, instead of stirring, because you can easily get all of the, the yarn tangled in on itself. But this is... Yes, that's a great way, just spooning it over. <laughs> it really just looks like we are dyeing our yarn Pepto-Bismol color. <laughs> or dyeing it with Pepto-Bismol. Yes, I think it looks like it. And then in the corners, it also looks like pepto -Bismol. Yes. It's very tricksy Mattel. All right. Um, okay, that's, that's all the instructions they've given us, is to just let it soak. Okay, so this is going to be the end of video one of this. Wait, we're doing a second video. Well, the second video will be washing it out, letting it dry. Are we doing that today? I don't know, because I've never dyed with this before. So I'm going to check it um, okay. before we go to bed. And if I feel like, boy, it still needs more time, we'll let it dye through the night. Um, but yeah, the second video will be rinsing it out, putting it outside to dry all day, and then giving, giving the followers the reveal, right? So yeah. what it looks like when it's all the way done. What are you going to make me? Um, I don't know. I haven't decided between a hat or a scarf, mm -hmm. but it will likely be something that you can wear outside to recess so that everybody can see, um, the color change. What about a hat? I said a, oh, uh, well, did I not say a hat? I said a hat. You said hat a hat. or a scarf. You said a win something wintery. Yeah. For the playground. All right. Uh, 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 uh. Uh, we're good. We're going to leave it. And we're going to say thank you. Oh, thank you for watching. Bye-bye. Bye, and we'll give you more results later.